Sucasaurus. Sucasaurus, meaning crocodile lizard, is a spinosaurid dinosaur from Cretaceous England and Portugal, originally believed to be a genus of crocodile. The type material, consisting of teeth, was used by British paleontologist Richard Owen to name the species S. Cultridens in 1841. Later in 1897, French paleontologist Henri-Emile Sauvage named a second species, S. Girardi, based on two fragments from the mandible and one tooth discovered in Portugal. Sucasaurus is possibly a senior synonym of the contemporary Spinosaurid Baryonyx, but is usually considered a dubious name due to the paucity of its remains. In the Whitehurst clay formation of what is now southern England, Sucasaurus lived alongside other dinosaurs, as well as plesiosaurs, mammals, and crocodiliforms. History of Discovery In about 1820, British paleontologist Gideon Mantell acquired teeth discovered near Cookfield in the Whitehurst clay of East Sussex, part of a lot with the present inventory number BMNHR 36536. In 1822, he reported these, after an identification by William Clift, as belonging to crocodiles. In 1824, the teeth were mentioned and illustrated by Georges Cuvier, representing the first fossil illustration of a Spinosaur dinosaur, though this group wouldn't be recognized for nearly another century. In 1827 Mantell described additional teeth, pointing out the similarities to the crocodilians Teleosaurus and Gavialis. One of these teeth is the present specimen BMNHR 4415, others are part of BMNHR 36536. In 1841, British paleontologist Richard Owen named, based on BMNHR 36536 as a syntype series, a subgenus Crocodilus, Sucasaurus, with as type species Crocodilus, Sucasaurus, Cultridens. The subgeneric name was derived from Greek Sigma Omicron Chi Omicron Sigma, Sauchos, the name of the Egyptian crocodile god Sobek. This reflected the presumed taxonomic affinities, at the time the crocodile-like snouts of spinosaurids were not known. The specific name is derived from Latin culture, dagger, and dens, tooth, in reference to the elongated form of the teeth. In 1842, Owen again mentioned the taxon as a subgenus, subsequently he and other workers would use it as a full genus Sucasaurus. In 1842 and 1878 Owen referred some vertebrae, backbones, to Sucasaurus, but these were later identified by Richard Lidecker as likely belonging to Ornithischian dinosaurs instead. In 1884, Owen indicated a tooth as Sucasaurus levitans in a caption, this is usually seen as lapsus calami, or slip of the pen, because this species is not further mentioned. In 1897, French paleontologist Henri-Emile Sauvage named a second species, Sucasaurus girardi, based on two jaw fragments, specimen MG324, and a tooth, found in the Papo Seco formation of Portugal by Swiss-Portuguese geologist Paul Chaffin. The specific name honors French geologist Albert Girard. The tooth was considered lost but was rediscovered and in 2013 reported as specimen MNHN slash UL. I.F2.176.1, part of remains recovered after a fire in 1978. During the 19th and most of the 20th century, Sucasaurus was usually considered to have been some obscure crocodilian, perhaps belonging to the Philidosauridae. Single comparable teeth discovered in England were referred to the genus. However, when publishing a redescription of Baryonyx in 1998, British paleontologist Angela Milner realized that the teeth of that Spinosaurid dinosaur were extremely similar to those of Sucasaurus. In 2003, she suggested both genera represented one and the same animal. An identity would imply the name Sucasaurus has priority. However, the Sucasaurus teeth are also indistinguishable from those of Christotusaurus and Sucamimus, making it an indeterminate barren kind. In 2007, French paleontologist Eric Buffetot considered the teeth of S. Girardi very similar to those of Baryonyx, and S. Cultridens, except for the stronger development of the ribs, lengthwise ridges, on the tooth crown, suggesting that the remains belonged to the same genus. Buffetot agreed with Milner that the teeth of S. Cultridens were almost identical to those of B. Walkeri, but with a ribbier surface. The former taxon might be a senior synonym of the latter, since it was published first depending on whether the differences were within a taxon or between different ones. Dot according to Buffetto, since the holotype specimen of S. cultridens is one worn tooth and that of B. walkeri is a skeleton it would be more practical to retain the newer name. In 2011, Portuguese paleontologist Octavio Mateus and colleagues agreed that Sucasaurus was closely related to Baryonyx, but considered both species in the former genus, Sucasaurus, nomina dubia, dubious names, since their holotype specimens were not considered diagnostic, 
lacking distinguishing features, and could not be definitely equated with other taxa. Description In 2012, American vertebrate paleontologist Thomas Sarholtz Jr. tentatively estimated Sucasaurus at around 10 meters, 33 feet, in length and weighing between 1 to 4 tons, 1.1 to 4.4 short tons. And in 2016, Spanish paleontologists Melina Perez and Lara Mendy estimated as cull tridents at approximately 8.6 meters, 28 feet, long, 2.15 meters, 7.1 feet, tall at the hips and weighing 1.4 t, 1.5 short tons. The teeth of Sucasaurus Girardi were curved, oval in cross-section, and had tall roots that were one and a half times taller than the crown. Its teeth, like some other spinosaurids, bore flutes, lengthwise grooves. In S. Girardi, there were eight flutes on the lingual side, which faced the inside of the mouth, and four less distinct flutes on the labial side, which faced the outside of the mouth. The tooth enamel, or outermost layer, had a microscopic wrinkled texture. Paleoecology The Wathurst clay formation, part of the Wealden group, is dated to the Valanginian stage of the early Cretaceous period, about 139.8 to 132.9 million years ago. It consists mainly of shales and mudstones. Other dinosaurs that shared this environment with Sucasaurus included the Iguanodontians Beryllium and Hypsalus pinus, as well as the dubious species Megalosaurus stunkeri and an unnamed Manoraptoran. They coexisted with the Plesiosaur Haston X, the Crocodiliform Goniophilus and the mammals Loxalax, Egelodon, Laolestes, and Spalacotherium.